Hey everyone, I'm going to wait another minute for people to jump on. I only have about five minutes, so um, I just wanted to jump on here today. Uh, today is a really big day for me. Um, I am sitting, currently sitting in the parking lot of my pelvic floor physical therapy treatment place, and I am um, stepping into my very last treatment. Um, for those of you who've been following my journey, I've been in treatment for pelvic pain, pelvic floor dysfunction, and primary vaginismus um, for a year and a half, twice a week. I've been in pelvic PT, um, and it's been a really long journey. Um, I'm sorry, I just put my hazards on. Um, I, again, for anyone who's just jumping on, I'm just jumping on here real quick before I go in for my final treatment um, for vaginismus, pelvic pain, and pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, it's been a very long journey. I've had... Um, vaginismus um, pretty much estimated since I was 12 years old in the aftermath of a sexual assault and I have an internal injury from that sexual assault that just kind of um, played into the vaginismus and then in 2016 I survived a plane crash which did not help my already quote-unquote jacked up pelvic floor so um, that resulted in having like pelvic pain and back pain and I had an abdominal injury. Um, so it all, uh, as you may know, it all kind of works together. Um, so I just wanted to hop on here. I told you uh, this week and last week I would just jump on and do some kind of real raw unedited, unscripted videos just talking about uh, the journey and what it's been like. Um, it still hasn't really hit me that this is my last one yet. I mean, obviously I'm here and I know that and I've been kind of preparing for it, I guess. Um, but it is very surreal to be sitting here saying to you that this is my last pelvic pain treatment. Um, it's been a very long year and a half. Um, pelvic pain and pelvic floor dysfunction and vaginismus are what I have been walking through. And it's a very intimate journey for those of you out there who've been through it, you know that very well. Um, it's a very intimate journey. It has to do with the most intimate places in your body and it's been super vulnerable. Um, you know, as a survivor of sexual trauma uh, already, um, it was, you know, or even for someone who isn't a survivor of sexual trauma, the vaginismus journey is very intimate. Uh, so it took me a long, long time to get here. I saw a specialist in Boston for gynecology appointments to rule out some other things. And um, it's just been a long road. So I just want to say to anyone out there who has faced pelvic pain or is in the midst of their pelvic pain journey that you're not alone and that hope and healing is possible. Um, I'm sitting here living proof that hope and healing is possible. So um, if you asked me six months ago if I'd be able to make it to the end, I would have told you no. I was wiped out. I was exhausted. Um, even the last couple weeks, I've been so exhausted. I think it's catching up to my body. So um, I just want people out there to know that um, just hold on. The journey, the healing journey is worth it. Um, I already feel freedom and I, I haven't even gone up for my final treatment yet. So um, anyone who's jumping on here now or later, um, I just wanted to kind of own my story here um, and let you know that you can own it too. Um, anything you may be facing, even if it's not related to pelvic pain, any trial or difficulty in your life, um, just know that it's, it's such a powerful thing when we can share our stories and bear witness. Um, to each other's stories and honor what people are going through um, and vaginismus and pelvic pain and pelvic dysfunction uh, is such a intimate journey it's really hard to share um, that sorry it just paused but basically I'm just jumping on here to kind of own my journey and let you know you can own it too um, and anyone out there who's uh, walking through pelvic pain um, trust me it's worth it I stepped into this journey not knowing if I could see it till the end um, because the treatment is pretty intense it's um, myofascial release internally um, to work with the muscles in the vagina basically um, I put some diagrams on my page on different places just to kind of show people what it's like um, I was getting really bad vasovagal symptoms from the vagal nerve, um, which is nausea, uh, feeling like you're on a merry-go-round that you can't get off or didn't choose to get on. Um, I in Internally, I felt like it was spasming often, which made the nausea cycle just repeat. And um, it was just really treacherous to get here, to endure it twice, to endure pelvic floor physical therapy twice a week for over a year and a half. And I just want people to know that it's possible it's so possible and I feel so much joy today being able to say that because there's been so many times 
where I wanted to give up, where it wasn't, where I didn't feel like it was worth it. And um, to be sitting here today in the space that I'm in and how I feel, there's so many thoughts, so many emotions um, to be finishing up a year and a half of pelvic floor physical therapy. But um, I'm here to be living proof, living hope, to be a light for those still in darkness of this. And I just want people to know that they aren't alone. So I'm going to get going again for those who may be jumping on at the end. Um, I am about to go upstairs to my last ever um, pelvic floor physical therapy appointment. Um, I've been in treatment for vaginismus, pelvic pain, and pelvic floor dysfunction for over a year and a half, and um, it's possible to heal, and that's what I'll leave you with. My friend made me this really cool shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but it says, adore your pelvic floor. So everyone out there on their journey to adoring the, their pelvic floor, I just want you to know that I'm living proof that it's possible and it's healing is here and healing is on the horizon. And, um, you know, I don't know for sure if I'm completely healed because um, intimacy for me, uh, full, um, basically sex won't come for me until marriage because of my faith. So I know that I'm healed up to a point, um, which is enough for me, finally. Um, I had this longing to know, and I, through this process, have been able to surrender that longing and to just trust my body and to trust that I can and will be healed regardless. And I'm thankful I have a really supportive partner. Um, my boyfriend has kind of walked with me through this kind of on the outside, but he actually came to my treatment last week, one of them, and that was a huge breakthrough in our relationship. So um, it took a lot of courage to let him in in that way, but I think um, it was just so, so beautiful to have someone and walk walk with it uh, walk with me through it so um, to anyone who's walking through pelvic pain survivors of sexual trauma you are not alone and I'm here for you so feel free to shoot me an inbox um, I want to hear your story I want to bear witness to your pain just as all of you have bared witness to mine so I'm gonna head up um, because I have four minutes until my final pelvic floor physical therapy treatment and um, I just wanted to let you know that you're loved you're supported your story matters just as much if not more than mine does, and um, we are just never alone. So um, I will be doing some posts today about my final treatment, um, and I'm doing a little celebration tonight with some people who've kind of been there with me through it all. Um, in the Bible, it talks about, um, in 1 Samuel 7, 12, it talks about um, kind of leaving monuments for what God has done. And so this is a huge monument for me. Um, walking through this after 16 years of pelvic pain, 16 years of vaginismus, 16 years of an, an internal injury caused by a sexual assault when I was 12. Um, and really, this is like the last piece of my healing. I've done so many other um, things to heal. Um, I now work in the field um, helping survivors. I work full-time as a family advocate at a child advocacy center and that's been such a full circle journey in itself um, but I knew that this physical piece was the final piece to my healing and to be embarking on closing that chapter and stepping fully into the next chapter is such a gift. So anyway, I'm going to get off here because I probably went longer than 10 minutes, which is the limit. So, but anyway, um, stay tuned for more posts about my journey and um, I will be taking a break after this week, um, probably starting Monday from this page. But until then, I will be posting and sharing about kind of the end of the journey and um, doing kind of a call to action. Um, socks have been really really helpful for me with the vulnerability of this journey. So I um, am donating like nine or eight, eight to 10 pairs today before I leave PT um, to those other pelvic pain warriors who are coming in here for treatment. But I think I might do a call to action to see if anyone else wants to help me um, get socks because socks really helped me because for the pelvic pain treatment, you have to kind of uh, derobe, uh, take your pants off <laughs> for the treatment um, because a lot of it is internal. Uh, so I want, I was able to discover that socks are really helpful with that vulnerability so um, I, I bought a different pair so like over 75 pairs of new socks per treatment that I've had because I've had over 75 and um, I was able to feel like empowered by wearing them I felt like I was wearing something even though I wasn't it really helped with the vulnerability so that's gonna be my call to action so if anyone feels led um, to buy and donate socks to my cause um, I may start a little uh, thing on the side for that or I'll definitely put some stuff on here about that call to action for socks to help with vulnerability through pelvic pain um, and pelvic floor dysfunction and vaginismus and pelvic PT. So anyway, I'm off to treatment, my final treatment. I'm really excited. Um, I'm sure I'll crash later or have some emotions, but I'm, I'm really um, in awe of the healing that has been done in my life through this process of pelvic floor physical therapy. So more to come and thank you everyone, sincere thank you to everyone who's walked with me on this journey. Um, friends, family, people on this Victory Over Pelvic Pain page, it's truly been 
an incredible gift to have all of you in my corner. So couldn't have done it without all of you. So um, anyone else who's on here, I just want to say hi and hope and healing is possible and impossible can become possible. Um, I'm living proof through pelvic pain, vaginismus and pelvic floor physical therapy. Bye everyone. Sending love.